From vertical forests and island parks to huge stadiums, iconic museums, Grand Prix tracks and gigafactories, 2021 will see some incredible construction projects reach completion, despite the challenges of the past year. While many schemes have been delayed, most sites managed to continue with social distancing and as we begin to emerge from the pandemic in the year ahead, so too will these impressive feats of construction. These are the 21 projects to keep your eyes on in 2021. Spread across two interconnected towers in China's tech capital, DJI's new headquarters features a series of cantilevers that appear as floating volumes emerging from a central core. Containing office space, research and testing facilities and a dedicated theatre for product launches, the project exemplifies China's push for more natural space within cities, featuring a series of sky gardens and a landscaped public square at street level. Rising from the Hudson River on a series of concrete columns and intended to mimic a floating leaf, visitors to New York City's newest park will feel like they're walking on water when Little Island, formerly known as Pier 55, opens in the spring of 2021. Constructed from 132 concrete flower pots between the remnants of piers 55 and 56, the elevated park is connected to Manhattan via two dock-like walkways and will feature landscaped walking tracks, viewing platforms, outdoor performing spaces and an 800-seat amphitheatre. Set to play a major role in the 2022 FIFA World Cup, the iconic stadium in Lusail City will host more matches than any other venue, including the all-important final. Designed with a capacity of more than 80,000 spectators, the venue is expected to be reconfigured to host around 40,000 people following the tournament. The reclaimed areas within the building's shell will be reconfigured for community space and athletic facilities. Remaining largely vacant since Hurricane Katrina, one of New Orleans' most recognisable landmarks is now being transformed into a premier residential and hotel development. 2014 saw the cruciform building added to the National Register of Historic Places, and with economic growth driving demand for high-end property in the city, 2018 saw the start of restoration works, due to complete in 2021. Following in the footsteps of Milan's Bosco Verticale, China's Hubei province will complete its own vertical forest in 2021. With more than 30,000 plants across the facades of its two residential towers, the scheme is one of many similar projects underway in cities across China, and is said to be joined by the Nanjing Vertical Forest in the latter half of the year. Disappearing from view in 2017 to undergo a four-year restoration, one of Britain's most iconic buildings is about to re-emerge onto the skyline, as scaffolding around the Elizabeth Tower at London's Palace of Westminster comes down. While extensive works have modernised the structure internally, the building's exterior has been fully restored to its original condition, appearing now as it did when it was first completed during the reign of Queen Victoria. With the completion of its 81-storey, 268-metre flagship tower, the first phase of the one billion Australian dollar Westside Place scheme will see a once-neglected part of Melbourne transformed into a dining, retail and residential precinct. Eventually set to feature 2,600 apartments across four towers, the scheme will also include a Ritz-Carlton hotel, new laneways, shops, restaurants and landscape terraces. Nodding to the early skyscrapers of the 1920s and 30s, Rose Hill in New York's Nomad District brings Art Deco design into the 21st century. With 123 apartments over 45 floors, the development is set to become one of the most exclusive addresses in the city, with a health and wellness centre, pet salon, library and exclusive bar just some of the amenities available to residents. Following on from its completion in 2015, the Hotel Green Solution House is set to complete a 24-room extension in 2021 that will not only be carbon neutral, but climate positive. Built and insulated using wooden materials that naturally absorb CO2, the extension will include a conference room and a rooftop spa.
After nearly two decades of design and construction, the Grand Egyptian Museum, or GEM, is set to finally open in 2021. Becoming the world's largest museum dedicated to a single civilization, the GEM will house 50,000 artifacts and become the new home of Tutankhamun and his treasures. You can learn more about the GEM in our dedicated documentary over on our memberships channel. After an absence of more than two decades, the MotoGP returns to Indonesia in 2021 with the newly constructed urban circuit on the island of Lombok. Built within the confines of a new resort complex, the 4.3km circuit will accommodate over 150,000 spectators during the event and operate as a public roadway for the hotels when races aren't taking place. Described as the most advanced high-end electric vehicle production plant in the world, Gigafactory Berlin will begin operations in 2021, producing the Tesla Model Y. The fourth of Tesla's mega plants globally, Gigafactory Berlin will be joined in 2021 by the completion of Gigafactory Texas, the firm's third facility in the United States. Nearing completion in the heart of the financial district, 130 William is a dramatic departure from the steel and glass skyscrapers found elsewhere in Manhattan and is architect Sir David Adjaye's first high-rise scheme in New York. Designed with a modern take on the stonework that characterised the city's early architecture, the building's concrete facade was hand-cast in Canada. Its rough exterior giving way to a smooth finish around the balconies and windows of the building. Rising 170 metres above the shore of the Mediterranean, one will offer 37 floors of luxury apartments in the heart of Cyprus's second largest city. Not only making its mark as the tallest building in the country, one will also become the tallest waterfront residential building in Europe. The first phase in Chile's 1.7 billion US dollar Andes Renovables scheme will see the completion of three onshore wind farms and a solar farm, providing 571 megawatts of renewable energy for the country. Producing enough energy to power 680,000 households, the Condor phase, as it's known, will save 656,000 tonnes of carbon emissions each year. Rising to a height of 250 metres, the latest addition to Dubai's skyline will add another world record to the city's growing list of achievements, as the Ain Dubai takes the title of the tallest observation wheel ever built. Standing 83 metres taller than the current record holder, Las Vegas' high roller, the wheel was set to complete for Expo 2020. However, ongoing delays shifted its opening to 2021, when 1,400 passengers at a time will be able to take flight in one of its 48 capsules. Fueled by a growing demand for world-class attractions across China, Universal will open their first theme park in the country with the completion of the Universal Beijing Resort in 2021. The 6.5 billion US dollar resort will be the most expensive theme park ever built and feature seven themed lands, with rides and attractions based around the Harry Potter, Transformers and Jurassic World franchises. Consisting of 58 gates across the three inlets to the Venice Lagoon, 2021 will see the controversial Mose project begin to protect the historic city in its ongoing war against the sea. When not in operation, the barriers will lay hidden on the sea floor, allowing boats and natural tidal flows to enter and leave the lagoon reducing the project's impact on the local ecosystem and economy. Part of the Tanzanian government's ongoing efforts to upgrade transport infrastructure, the Tanzanite Bridge will become the latest project trying to reduce congestion in the country's largest city in 2021. Spanning more than a kilometre across the Umzimbazi Delta, the bridge will become the longest in Tanzania and is expected to carry 55,000 vehicles each day. Relieving congestion in and around Hawaii's largest city, the first phase of Honolulu's light rail will complete and begin services in 2021, linking the state capital to the suburbs and surrounding satellite cities. 
Set to continue opening in phases up to 2026, the near fully elevated system will be the first large-scale public metro in the United States to feature platform screens at all of its stations, and the first to operate driverless trains. Replacing the existing Bangkok railway station, Bangsu Grand will become the terminus for all long-distance rail services arriving into Thailand's capital. With 12 platforms measuring up to 600 metres long, the building will be the largest railway station in Southeast Asia and will integrate with the Bangsu MTR, allowing for seamless passenger transfers to the metro network. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about these projects and the incredible world of construction in 2021, subscribe to the B1M.